All right, guys, got another video on fluorescent lights. This light is one of two that's in my kitchen, and both of them, the ballast has gone out, so it no longer lights up the tubes. Most people, most cases, you throw the lights away, you go spend another $150 on each light, and you put them up. But if you want an inexpensive way to fix this, stick around, and I'll show you how to replace the ballast. So the first thing you do, you take your light down, which usually entails taking this cover off so you can get to the framework behind it and screw it up to your ceiling. So normally when you take your light down, this will already be off. Be careful with these pieces of, I don't know if they're Lexan, if they're uh, plexiglass. It's really thin, brittle plastic. So you gotta be careful with them when you're taking them down. Make sure you don't twist them, bend them. Take them out as gentle as you can so they don't break. You're gonna have tubes inside. This particular model has four tubes. So take those out, set them off the side. You're gonna have your framework and your ballast. These lights are really simple. The ballast plugs into your your electrical your house, you have your ground, the ballast lights up the tubes. When none of the tubes will light up and you've tried replacing them all, that means the ballast is out. This light cost me I think $150, $160 for the whole assembly at the hardware store, whether it's Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever it was, about five years ago, six years ago. I could go down and, and buy a whole nother light fixture for $150, $160, $200. Or I can go online with the ballast part number, search it, and buy just the ballast, which I did, for $15 a piece. So the next project is to take this out, which entails taking all these wires out, disconnecting them from the ends and then feeding the new one in. Now if you notice, at this end of the light, it has yellow wires. These wires over here are yellow, these wires over here are yellow. Down at this end, you have your black and your white wire for your power. And further down at this end, you have yellow and blue for this end down here or not yellow and blue, red and blue. I'm a little colorblind it seems right now. Red and blue. Red on this side, blue on that side. So all the wires are color coded to where they're gonna go. And the new ballast, since it's made by the same company, has the same colors coming out of the ballast. They're coming out a little bit different as far as on where they're coming out on the ballast itself, but the colors are the same, so I'm gonna hook it up the same. So if you gently pop these out, this is the yellow side, you'll notice that this one's just connected to this one itself. So the only one you need to take out is this wire right here. That one goes directly to the ballast. So pop this back cover off, preferably without sticking yourself in the finger with your pick or breaking the backing. And you'll notice it's just simply stuck in there. Lift up that tab, gently slide that out. If you can see that, that wire was just stuck in that hole right there. And then up in here, this little tab right there hooks it in and keeps it in there. Just like that other wire that's back there to the second side. So release these out. All four of these on each end or however many tubes you have. Get this yellow wire free and then do the same thing with the blue and the red on that end. Okay so I'm almost done here putting this uh, new ballast, bolted new ballast down and I ran the yellow wires to the other end. On this particular ballast 
all the colored wires came out the one end and the power wires came out the other end. So it's slightly different, but all the wires were plenty long. I had to trim off the red and the blue wires because there was an extra foot and a half to two feet of wire on this end. So to put these things back in, you simply find the same hole you took the wire out of and you push it up in there so that little tab makes connection. Making sure that there's no bare wire sticking out the bottom as it might arc off the fixture itself. Put your back cap back on and very gently clip this back in so you don't break those little tabs. Same thing with the last one. Making sure to get that clipped in there real good. Put that on there. Clipped in. Just like that, you replaced a ballast. So that's all there is to it, to replace that ballast. Simple as taking the light down from your ceiling and taking this old ballast out, putting the new ballast in. Now some of the wire connections will be different depending on who made the light. Might be a little harder, might be a little easier just depends on the manufacturer of the light and how they decided to make it. If you're not comfortable working with electricity, don't try this. If you do try this, make sure your power leads are disconnected. That's why I take this light down off the ceiling. There's no chance the power is going to be at this light. No chance of me getting electrocuted. If you're not comfortable taking these power wires off, the power leads from your house, don't do it. Call somebody who's comfortable with it. Call a certified electrician if you need to. Don't do anything you're not comfortable doing. If you're not comfortable doing it, chances are you might get hurt. So the only thing that's left for this is to put it back up on my ceiling, but I've got another light, an identical light to do, replace the ballast in that one too, and then I'll put them both back up, turn them on, and I'll have light in my kitchen again. Take it easy, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Take it easy, be careful when you're working with electricity, and I'll see you next time.